Tropical Storm Barry getting closer to the Gulf, and our chief meteorologist Chris Holcomb has been tracking its path. Chris, you've got the very latest information. Yeah, the latest just came in at 5 o'clock with the advisory from the National Hurricane Center. Maximum sustained winds with this storm at 65 miles an hour, but it has gust up to 75 miles an hour. You can see it swirling here in the Gulf of Mexico nearing the Louisiana coastline, but I also want you to see these bands of rain coming through this, so through parts of Mississippi, Alabama, and yes, even some bands here enhanced by the flow of this system moving into South Georgia. We'll be watching some of these moving our way as we go through the evening hours as well. Let's take a look at the bigger picture here and you can see what we're watching with that latest track that just came in. As you can see, those maximum sustained winds at 65 miles an hour with gusts to 75. Now, I want you to notice here, don't get confused about this because you're going to see only tropical storm symbols here. Uh, the, this symbol at 2 o'clock in the morning and then this one at 2 in the morning. However, in between these two spots, we think that this will briefly become a hurricane as it makes landfall early tomorrow morning, 7, 8 o'clock in the morning, and then lose its strength as it moves up into Louisiana and eventually into Arkansas. Stay with us. We'll talk about that since we're on the right hand side of this system, how we'll see some indirect impacts with that Gulf moisture moving our way and still some rain chances persisting through the afternoon and evenings for the weekend. More on that coming up. All right.